Hi, I'm Natalie and this is my Woman with a Movie Camera introduction for the 2001 film Me Without You by writer-director Sandra Goldbacker. Do you think that my voice sounded really squeaky? No. I asked a brilliant question, he loved it. But I always wonder what people like that are really like, don't you? I mean, underneath all that crap. <laughs> Did you see his shoes? Loafers with yellow socks! <laughs> Me Without You tracks the close friendship of Marina and Holly from the age of around 12, 13 into womanhood over two decades. The two strong central performances are by Anna Friel as Marina and Michelle Williams doing a convincing British accent as Holly. The film starts in suburban South England in 74 and we follow the girls into the 80s, college in Brighton and beyond. Leo and I have decided that we're going to get married. <laughs> Marina? It is a coming of age movie. It's essentially a female friendship film. And like all the best in that category, whether your favorite is Thelma and Louise, Boys on the Side, Book Smart, Steel Magnolias, I mean, the list does go on, but it does a thoughtful job at portraying the intensity and the potent dynamics that bind young women. Emotionally, I think the film has a tremendous authenticity and realism to it, especially in the detail. There were a couple of times when I was cringing and had to almost turn from the screen because it was so accurately reminiscent of some of my own long past experiences. Holly, mm. not now, you know you're like, you'll be throwing up before we get there. Street, remember? This is Sandra Goldbacker's second film on the back of the huge success of The Governess starring Minnie Driver in 1998, which she also wrote and directed. Now, I have the pleasure of knowing Sandra socially, so I was able to phone her up and she told me it was actually written first, which maybe isn't surprising. Um, there's obviously a quasi autobiographical element to it. We had a really great chat about the intensity of those early years, those early formative female friendships, and how you can sometimes almost get stuck with that weird codependency to the detriment of romantic relationships. And as this film so eloquently handles to the detriment of your inner self and um, growing of identity. Why are you looking at me like that? You've really changed, you know that? Uh, what? The film handles the guilt of trying to pull free of that very effectively. So it's a great emotional narrative piece and Sandra did talk about the gift of having a rehearsal period with Anna and Michelle. You really do believe in that friendship. But I also admire the way that Sandra tells story within the frame as a director. Um, it's beautiful to have a director that can really communicate with actors, but really understands the frame as well. And she said that the photography of Corrine Day and American Nan Golden were all references for her, that sort of raw, intimate, deeply personal portraiture. An interesting choice of colour palette to create like a dreamlike orchid house, somnolent, I think was the word Sandra used, feel for when the girls are together in their bedrooms, especially in Brighton to sort of create that uh, removal from the real world when they're together. And her shrewd choice of anamorphic lens is highly intelligent. It gives a real sense of proximity and intimacy for the viewer with the characters, but at the same time you get that width so that you see the environment that they're pushing against behind them. Sandra says she actually loves how three actors look in an anamorphic lens. And there are indeed some really great supporting performances in this film, be it Oliver Milburn, Kyle MacLachlan, Alan Corduna, or indeed Trudy Styler. Personally, I love the crane shots at the beginning of the film on the anamorphic lens, looking down on sprawling suburbia. No drones here, ladies and gentlemen, and it gives a great sense of that suburbia sprawl that teenagers are desperate to escape. Produced by Fanola Dwyer, who went on to make such films as An Education and Brooklyn, um, Me Without You is a truthful, humorous, cathartic watch. I highly recommend it. Sandra Goldbacker has huge visual skill and emotional instinct, and I have to say she's also got fantastic taste in music. Anything that has some Nick Drake on it as soundtrack music can only be an amazing thing. So pale and sincere. So, there you go. Enjoy. <laughs>